Little old Bournemouth on the south coast, friendly, sedate, they've nothing to boast. 11,000 seats, that's no kind of ground, but when Dean Court is full, boy, we make a sound. From Pulis to Quinn, we all know the rest. There was a ceiling at Bournemouth, we were League One at best. But Eddie took over, put his imprint on the club. Cherry's no longer the laughing stock of the pub. League two to League One, the champ to the Prem. The media had us down, well, V's up to them. It was not always easy, this season the worst. Where football came second, the bubble might burst. Fans were concerned that the cherries might fall. Plus, with Covid and VAR, it was no longer football. But restart we did and Eddie looked worn. The championship was calling and fans were forlorn. History tells us that Bournemouth might make an escape. With Howe at the helm, a renaissance might take shape. The league restarted with no fans to cheer, not getting behind Eddie and the lads. It was such a huge fear. But let's put it into perspective. It is what it is, and we've had a lifetime of memories where the boys did the biz. Chanting from home, we had to watch on the box, and with four losses to start, we were slow out the blocks. Down by the beach, we'd chat cherries with our friends, talking about the Bournemouth on whom we depend. So down's where we went, I think we all knew. But let's look back much further for a different view. It's a far cry from the past with Winter Garden Woe, minus 17 points, the club nearly did go. With Grimsby and Fletch, the story was written. It's moments like this that make us all smitten. Super hitting the net, the north stand a sea of red, and little did we know what would lie ahead. The 2-0 at Burton, second in League One, cherries on the crest of a wave, scoring goals for fun. Yes, there was Burnley, which all sent us off track, but family life came first, so then he came back. The beginning of a rise, the togetherness of staff, Premier League football, you're having a laugh. The 3-0 versus Bolton, the game where we knew Bournemouth have prospered to the EFL FU. Most elated, the cherries at their peak, numb with excitement, well, just ask Jeff's bum cheeks. So what would lie ahead? Would we go toe-to-toe? Well, it's chance to experience the money fueled show. Big grounds to visit, some better than others. A chance for Saints fans to call us their little brothers. And in the top flight, we prospered with our brand of play. Just ask the Hotspur in 90 minutes, Nathan Ake. Liverpool fell to 4-3, players down on their knees. The media purred over us. We were darlings of the league. Steve Cook sees the headlines, drives it for goal, spilt, and Ake has won it surely! And the Cherries have surely completed up. Then the 3-1 at Saints, that was barely a surprise. And the 1-0 at Chelsea, we couldn't believe our eyes. Plus United and Arsenal, those games won't be forgotten. Those teams will never appreciate what it is to be rock bottom. Written off each year as merely pretenders, but for five years we proved Premier League contenders. And so now we know what a wild trip it's been. World famous, what, Bournemouth? Was it a dream? One thing which links us, our saviour and glue, is the man that made it happen, Eddie Howe. Thank you.